say to the teacher today? Hello boys and girls, we are back again for another music lesson. I hope you've been having fun with all of your other schoolwork um, and it is great to see you. Although we are not together, we can still have fun online using your computer. Maybe I'm maybe I'm inside your iPad at the moment. I'm not sure where I am, but we are going to have a great music lesson today. Lots and lots of singing and even some movement. That's right. Today you will be asked to move around the room that you are in. Can you make sure that there's lots of space for you to move around? Um, that's going to be later. You might need um, a parent to help you make sure that there's lots of space for you to move around. But first, let's sing the Days of the Week song. Here we go. Days of the Week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then the Saturday, days of the week. 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 What day is it today? You might be watching it and it's a Wednesday. Hmm, tell me what day of the week it is today. Really? Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Um, we are going to do lots and lots of activities today and as I said there's going to be a little movement activity but first I want to do some singing with you and this is a song called Skidamarink. Do you know that song already? Skidamarink? I think some of you do know it. Skidamarink is a song um, which we have done, I know we've done it in nursery and I can't remember if reception's done it before but Hey ho, it's really, it's really easy to learn and it's really, really fun to sing. And there's even some actions that I'm going to be teaching you in a minute. But first of all, let's just sing the song. It goes like this. skid a rink a dink a dink skid a rink a do I love you. skid a rink a dink a dink skid a rink a do I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skidamarink a dink a dink, skidamarink a do. I love you. Oh, what a lovely song and oh, what a lovely voice you have. So we're going to do some actions to the song. At the beginning is a little bit like Mr. Clickety Kane because you're going to be tapping on your lap and clapping your hands. So we sing this. Skid a rink a dink a dink, skid a rink a do, I love. And then on you, we're going to just shake our hands like that. You. Good. Skid a rink a dink a dink, skid a rink a do, I love you. Very good. Okay, so the next bit goes like this. I love you in the evening and in the afternoon. I, oh, I made a mistake. Let me go back. Rewind. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. Then we put both hands together. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Okay, let's do that again without Mr. McKinnon's mistake. So one hand goes on this shoulder and we sing, I love you in the morning and then, and in the afternoon. And then both hands, I love you in the evening and both hands up in the air and, it, and underneath the moon. And you can put your hand, head all the way up and sing to the moon and underneath the moon. Skid a rink a dink a dink, skid a rink a do. I love you. Shall we try it all the way from the beginning? Okay, I'm not going to use my ukulele because I want to do the actions with you. 
Okay, here we go. Ready? Are you sitting up straight? Have you brought your beautiful voice with you to music today? Ready? Here we go. Skidimmerink-a-dink-a-dink, skidimmerink-a-doo. I love you. Skidimmerink-a-dink-a-dink, skidimmerink-a-doo. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skidimmerink-a-dink-a-dink, skidimmerink-a-doo. I love you. And take a bow, take a bow. I'll give you a round of applause. You can take a bow. Oh, fantastic. <sighs> Hold up one little finger. Here is the baby ready for his nap. Put him down on mummy's lap. Cover him up so he won't peek and rock him gently till he falls asleep. Shall we listen to see if the baby's asleep yet? Oh no, my baby's not asleep. I think I was rocking the baby too hard. I think we've got to try again and be a bit more gentle. Here is the baby ready for his nap. Put him down on mummy's lap. Cover him up so he won't peek. And rock him gently till he falls asleep. Is your baby asleep yet? My baby's fast asleep. Well done. Oh, can you show me three fingers now? These are three little birds. Three little birds all fast asleep. Three little birds say, cheep, cheep, cheep. Down comes mummy with a big fat crumb. And the first little bird said, yum, yum, yum. Two little birds all fast asleep. Two little birds say, cheep, cheep, cheep. Down comes mummy with a big fat crumb. And the next little bird says, yum, yum, yum. One little bird all fast asleep. One little bird says, cheep, cheep, cheep. Down comes mummy with the big fat crumb. And the last little bird said, yum, yum, yum. Five little peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they didn't stop until one day the pea pod popped. <laughs> oh my goodness, you gave me such a fright. You shouted so loud when we said popped. Oh my goodness, let's do it again. But this time I'm going to be so brave and I'm not going to get a fright this time. No matter how loud you shout, I'm not going to get a fright. Mm, I'll be really brave. Here we go. Five little peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they didn't stop. I'm not going to get a fright. Until one day the pea pod <laughs> Oh no! Got some very frightening children today doing all that shouting. Oh my goodness. Okay, I am going to move now because I need to get my keyboard. That's right, we're going to be doing some movement. Uh, using uh, based on what we hear. So see you in a second at my keyboard. Okay, right, we are with the keyboard now because it is time 
for you to do some movement. Now I told you before that you need to make sure you've got lots of room around you because when you hear me play, you're going to be transformed into something different. And I don't think I need to explain what they're going to be because I think we've practiced it so many times in the music room that you should know what they sound like. For example, if you were to stand up and find a space now, what animal is this? I think I just saw some children putting their hands on their head and hopping around the room. What animal was it? Shout it to me. A bunny. We know it's the bunny because the music sounds like hopping. It's really high up and it's really bouncy, like this. It makes us think of something small that's hopping. Very nice. But if I use this side of the keyboard, the animal that we're going to be is much bigger. saw some children with their hands going like this and stomping around the room. What animal were you? An elephant? I think you're right because the music was really really low and it was slow and it sounded like something big was stomping like an elephant. Shall we do another one? Look at those big wings. How beautiful. Wow, I could see some beautiful birds. Did I see an eagle? Did I see a butterfly? Did I see a flying unicorn? So many beautiful flying things. Okay, how about this one? <laughs> don't really like those things. What were they? Bees! Oh, they're okay as long as they don't sting you. Okay, this next one, you've got to get down on the ground. It's very slow. I wonder what animal moves this slowly. It's got a shell on its back. I think you can go slower than that. What was the animal? It was a turtle. Maybe it was a tortoise. Or maybe, maybe it was even a snail that was crawling along the ground. Okay, are you ready for your challenge? I'm not going to tell you the name of the animal. We're just going to change the sounds and you've got to be listening really carefully. Are you ready? Which animals first? Here we go. <laughs>
the end of our music lesson today. It's been so much fun. I can't wait to come back again next time and sing with you again. And if your mums and dads or whoever's looking after you at home want to make a recording, whoops, make a recording of you doing any of those games or songs that we've done today or from any of the other weeks, then uh, they would be more than welcome to send them to me. I'd love to see how you're getting on. I love to read all the comments that say which songs you've enjoyed or which parts you've liked the most. But obviously I love to see things too because I wish I could be with you to do the singing. But maybe if I had some videos to watch, that would be amazing. Or even just some photos. So that's a message for the mums and dads. But for now, it's time to say goodbye. What do we say to the teacher today?